What's up, my little pretties? It's your mistress, the Shine Line is here, and today we are here to review episode 30 of Teen Titans. But it's also, and it's also known as the fourth episode, let's see, um, the fourth episode of season three. Now, today we are going to review a new episode called Crash. Now, let me explain about what this episode basically is about before I could say, you know, my review. Now, first of all, Beast Boy tries to get this uh, game called um, Mega Monkeys 4, and he's trying to play it. But, however, though, he mistakes um, Cyborg's charging system as a computer ga video game console. So, what happens is when Cyborg goes to charge after Beast Boy tries to put the game in, uh, it messes up uh, Cyborg. Basically, what happens is Cyborg's, like, eating everything that resembles food or something. And, you know, he's eating all the food in the fridge, and then he eats, like, certain pieces of furniture or something that is at least resemble the food to him. And he sees, like, he's hallucinating that there's food and stuff like that. So, basically, uh, Robin asks Beast Boy what happened, and Beast Boy explains to the Titans exactly what he did. And then that's when the Titans decided that they will have to find out some way how they could restore Cyborg back to normal. Mole or something like that. So basically, they get Gizmo, who is a villain of the Hive, who was going to play the same video game Beast Boy was until the Titans stop him, and they explain to him the you know, the problem. But of course, at first, Cy um, Gizmo refuses to help, but Raven convinces him to do that. So he decides to go and help, and Beast Boy somehow joins in and helps Gizmo. Uh, Helps Gizmo uh, fix up um, Cyborg. So Cyborg, meanwhile, is going out of town and he's like eating everything he sees. You know, resembling them food when they're clearly not food. So, so the Titans are trying to like take Cyborg home and stuff. But Cyborg is like going all nuts and stuff like that. So he ended up runs away again. So... The Titans end up having to go chase him. Well, meanwhile, Gizmo and Cyborg, Gizmo and and Beast Boy are trying to, you know, fix up Cyborg. So basically, when they get to Cyborg's um Cyborg's brain or something, and they that's when they uh restart his system. So he basically shuts down, and then he comes back to life and he's restored and all that and he's like oh what happened and you know the titans explain to him what happened he was hallucinating food and items and stuff like that and beast boy messed his um charging system up so what i really do think about this episode is this episode was actually pretty interesting to me i really find it you know that, you know, some people hallucinate stuff. And, you know, Cyborg was hallucinating things like stuff like furniture and that being being food and stuff. And, of course, he was um, hallucinating all that. But that was because of the charging system, when Beast Boy messed it up, Cyborg becomes messed up and ends up doing the things that he did. Now, I understand that, you know, um, Cyborg had this some sort of computer thing or whatever for going on so I really do understand about that you know but at least the Titans um ended up finding out that he actually the Beast Boy messed it up and stuff like that over a video game which let's be honest that Cyborg ended up losing his mind and at least the Titans knew what to do and get Beast Boy to like well basically get um cyborg to go back to normal and stuff like that now the concept itself is pretty pretty good interesting for to me i honestly think that this episode did a pretty good job another thing i could definitely say that i really do enjoy this episode is the fact that um well i guess it's the fact that a lot of people really do um think that the episode did a pretty good job, which it did. Now, 
if you guys are asking, do you have anything negative to say about this episode? Um, that's hard because I don't see anything negative or anything wrong with it. But I could say one question is, how was um Beast Boy able to transform to a tiny cell and get in Cyborg's body? And how was that possible? Like, you know, Beast Boy never done anything like that. I know it's kind of a negative, but at the same time, it's a positive and it's a question. So that's obviously something I have to say. Like, how was Beast Boy able to do that? So that's basically what I'm trying to say. But other than that, this episode did a pretty good job. I actually liked the concept. And I actually thought the characters were cool. Now, the animation's good. Like I said, the storyline of how the episode went out was amazing. And I do like the fact that Beast, there was this one line that Raven says after, um, Be after Cyborg says, we should go out for some waffles. And then he said, and then she says, more than life himself. <laughs> oh my god, that was a really good episode, I have to say. Now, like I'm going to say right now, people, this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Now, my final rating of this episode would have to be a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 because the animation was good, the concept was good, um, the storyline of how the episode went out, and even the animation was pretty good as well. So anyways, here's a question to you guys. What did you all think about this um, episode of Teen Titans? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would you have done personally to help make this episode a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, and if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, because I upload brand new videos every single day. And like always, I'll be over and out and signing off. See you all later. Bye-bye and peace out.